Well, now that the weed whacker has stopped and the giant helicopter has gone by, and now we have another beautiful day here in North County, San Diego, Duluth Canyon. And this is Ricky, and I am on an organic farm here, and it is called the Cunningham Organic Farm. And I'm looking at my garden right now with some of the strawberries that I keep talking about neglecting and not working on and which I keep threatening to do and I don't do so I guess that's called procrastination and I'll be working on that in the near future but for right now back to the crazy giant Tahitian squash story here um, now I know squash grows fast and I know this stuff is known for its giant vegetable but this thing is like really maxing out the uh, garden here. So if you decide you want to try to plant this monster, you got to have yourself plenty of room. Or either my soil is really great or this stuff just is growing nuts. So now it's crumbing out of the wall or the fence here and trying to grow that way. So I'm going to start topping the end. Um, this is going to have more squash in it than I am going to be able to use. And especially if they get between 10 and 20 pounds, they get huge. So I think I'm going to start lopping the ends so they won't grow anymore. And just let the, the plant work on its fruit. So that's my plan. Um, yeah, you can see the, it's fruit everywhere. There's, here's one here. And uh, look inside, um, there, all over, look at that one, this one here, with the flower on it. That would be a neat flowery stuff, wouldn't it? Um, and they're all, they're the, the whole plant, this whole thing has got these squash all over. So, this whole thing has squash all over. And um, if I let these roll over to this side, um, I, that's going to be plenty. So I think I'll just start uh, nipping, nipping the ends off of these things to try to get it under control. Otherwise, wow, crazy. I need to do a little bit of weeding here, get this purslane out of here. Uh, these weeds that are growing everywhere and harvest this garlic. So that's the challenge of today and I should be able to do that without a problem. And look at that squash, it's trying to escape again across the garden. It's going to have to be tamed for sure. This is really easy to pick, so this shouldn't take me very long. There we go. I put this hummingbird feeder up about a week and a half ago, and it's already two thirds empty, or one half, one third full, however you want to look at it. And it is quite the attraction for the local hummingbirds right now. There is one Anna's hummingbird that has taken resident, and it is quite uh, possessive of this little. Uh, feeder it uh, Just as you could just see whipped in whipped out another one. I will uh, side by side that same one who is protecting this feeder Who was having an argument with me the other day just sitting here looking at them? Uh, I think it was trying to tell me to get away as well So they're quite comical uh, Especially as they chase each other around and more in the afternoon when they all want to come in to get a drink and one of them just tries to keep them all away and like this one here is a stranger, so it was looking around and seeing if it was going to get bullied or not. And um, so that's fun with the hummingbird feeders. 
Well, I'm going to finish lifting up that frog dock that got stuck again. And also between myself and Juan, my neighbor, we're going to be getting this pond. We're going to do our best to get it cleaned out a little bit of all of this moss that's in here growing now. So that's what we're going to work on today. And we'll see if I fall in or not. Hopefully not. But that stuff is really tough to get out. Well, as you can see, the reservoir looks a lot better, um, and we're hoping that it'll get even better. So now that I can get in there with this boat and get it under control, uh, Mr. Juan did a great job today raking all of that stuff out of there. And as you could have seen, you could see in that time lapse, I was really struggling out there to get this stuff out of the bottom of the pond. It was very slow going. We weren't getting big batches only because it's rooted down there. It's like pulling grass out of the ground and it's pretty tough stuff. So I'm going to do, uh, engineer a little grappling hook thing out of a couple of rakes and I'm going to retry that uh, at another time and I'll make another video on that. And uh, the frogs that are coming up here are now probably liking the fact that we're taking away their giant uh, grass lot there or playground and now they're going to have to start using the platform again their little frog dock and the frog dock is floating well it's not going to be getting stuck anymore I took care of that problem and there is the bullfrog out there right there so with that I'm gonna say that'll be the end of the video it's very warm out here in Duluth Canyon North County San Diego California thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you soon.